obedience trial champion Winthea's Scorpio of Lou Johns. High combined score and 1984 obedience grand victor. Owned and presented by John M. Brooks from Little Rock, Arkansas. Well, here we are. This is the best of breed competition. There he is. Uh, you picked it. Uh, Dave Rinky with his bitch there, and he won. What a beautiful combination. Two happy people and two good dogs, I might add. Great dogs. Well, this was a really great day. Warm sunshine. There you are, getting ready to, uh, to judge the first class. This was a kind of a long and uh, but an interesting day. Tell me what your procedure was, how you evaluated the dogs, how you picked the ones you thought were the better ones, and just overall what you were looking for. Carmen, what I tried to do, I divided the classes uh, into groups of 10, and uh, I moved them around and placed them on their side gate. And after deciding on the best side gate of that group, then I would individually uh, go over the dog. And then when they went around by their self individually, I definitely seen a loose lead to see about the back and so forth. And uh, that uh, basically was the procedure. Maybe later on I could give a couple more comments about the uh, procedure. But I feel that it was easy for the fancy to uh, follow. Well, let's see. This is the first group. Uh, they're being side-gated. So uh, I guess what, what's going to happen next now is you're going to divide them into uh, the better side-gators and you'll move those up front. That's correct. Right. And the ring was so large, this is why we're stopping around uh, at each, at one corner. Well, this is your first dog. This uh, dog here uh, was number five, uh, Select. Beautiful bodied bitch with a gorgeous outline. Good ribbing, has a good back. Could be maybe just a shade better in the past turn, but that's today wasn't uh, wasn't a factor. Good temperament, as you can see. Going away, she's fine, just a little wide, which is not a serious problem. Now, as she swings around to go around the ring, you will have the opportunity to see her both on a tight and a loose lead. And you will see that she holds her back and uh, just in great, great, great form she is. Well, from what we've seen of her already, she's really smooth and easy moving, as uh, what I like to say, great foot timing. Great. You're absolutely right, Carmen. Great attitude also.
There she is on a loose lead, you can see. Very nice pitch. This is select number two, Alator's Viva Vacharmac. She's like a little machine. She's clean coming and going, uh, as we'll see here in a moment, moving around either a loose or tight lead. She never takes a wrong step, and what a heart she has. Just great desire, great desire. This is select number eight, uh, which we will uh, see a little later. Nice typey pitch. While we're watching these other bitches go around and uh, being looked at, just a few more comments uh, in regard to my procedure. The loose lead, I feel, is a very important uh, thing to ask for from a handler because of the fact that on a tight lead, as we all know, uh, they cover up a lot of things, back, going away, and etc. So maybe you might not agree with everything that I did as far as the placings. However, if a dog was or a bitch was in maybe ninth or tenth place, maybe on a loose lead, uh, that's where it should have been. Perhaps on a tight lead, it should have been up maybe in the sixth or the fifth place. Well, that's an interesting point because sometimes here on the camera, uh, we don't always get the shot of the dog on the loose lead. Uh, sometimes we only get the dog on the tight lead. And while that's all uh, the audience might may see, they may wonder why the dog didn't uh, rank higher. And I'm glad you pointed that out because uh, we don't uh, get to see on the screen everything that uh, you had an opportunity to see throughout the day while you were judging. Right. And also another uh, thing that I endeavored to do was to keep the dogs at a slow pace instead of running because when they run uh, as fast as they can, why, you really can't see a thing, in my estimation. I, I feel some of the dogs did uh, tire later on in the day due to the fact of the heat, because I have maybe a half a dozen of these animals in my mind that I could name that I've seen perform much, much better. Well, it was, a, it was a day that, uh, and a big ring that called for people and dogs, uh, both, to, both to be in shape, and I'm not sure everyone was when they got there. You are right again. But the outdoor show was just magnificent. Believe me, I hope uh, we can do it again. Well, I see you still have your coat on, so the heat hasn't uh, got to you yet. A little later, it'll come off. Well, I see that you took notes throughout the uh, afternoon, keeping up with uh, various dogs, I guess? Right. In other words, there's a lot of dogs to be uh, judged, and of course, uh, you must keep some notes occasionally to remember all this. You know, I guess that's right. In, a, in as big as these classes, we're even dividing them up into groups of 10. Uh, I see you're making notes and moving them around. Well, look right. who's here. This is the Grand Victrix which uh, I thought today was just outstanding. I've had the pleasure of judging this bitch in the past. Today she was in just superb condition, just superb. Going away, uh, she's not, I'd like to see her a little better going away. She's a little loose. Coming, she's fine. In my estimation, of course, this is my own personal opinion, she has one of the finest side gates that I have seen in a long, long time. This is number seven select. Beautiful sable, gorgeous type, with a good back. Good coming and going. Good suspension. When we see her move around the ring, you'll see both a tight and a loose lead. 
I think uh, I would just like to change her in one way. Just she's a little too swift. But other than that, she's a, a great package. This is select number four, black and tan, very dry, very good long stride, has a good back, good top line. When she goes around, we'll see the reach that I was talking about. About, I think her shoulder could be laid back just a uh, hair She's very nice with a good attitude, good type. This is select number 11. Very, very pretty bitch. A nice long neck, high with her. Just a shade straight in the upper arm. She's a very sound bitch. Good coming and going. Takes a nice stride. Overall, a great, a good-looking bitch. I think she looked best pulling. Well, did you notice uh, very many dogs with missing teeth? Surprisingly enough, uh, Carmen, no. I only had a couple of dogs with uh, missing uh, teeth. You know, I talked with Helen about that last year, and uh, she said uh, about the same thing, that apparently we've made uh, pretty good strides in the breed because we don't see much of that anymore. Certainly have. Also, the bites uh, were quite, uh, quite good, I might add. I think the overall quality was uh, quite good. I was pleased. If there was, a, I guess, a look into just the dogs here at the National, if there was something that uh, an observer would say uh, you thought need to be improved uh, throughout the breed, what, uh, what trait or characteristic would you recommend uh, people to pay attention to? I would say masculinity is one, uh, one important thing, especially in the males, needless to say. Also backs, um, being very general, backs, and also croups something that people don't uh, give a lot of consideration also is necks. There's a lot of dogs who do not have the nice uh, length of neck which really gives a nice, uh, presents a nice, a nice outline on the dog. But I can recall a number of years ago where a lot of people made comments that we were in deep trouble. I, I really don't feel that we're in that bad of shape, believe me. Well, this is your number three select dog, Escapade. She is a beautiful type also. She has a real exciting side gait. Well, not maybe uh, correct because she, she lifts a little bit but other than that, she is tremendous. I think if she was on a loose lead going just a little slower, she would look much, much better. This is select number 12, a very nice black and tan, good length of neck, ideal size. She has a good back, good reach. She covers a lot of ground, which we'll see here in a moment. This, on a loose lead, she looks excellent, as we can see here. She, at the end of the day, did not perform as good as I have seen her perform in the past. This is number six select, 
pretty black and tan, Strifle, a trifle strong in head. She has a very high wither, very powerful bitch as we'll see when she moves around. I would like to see just a little better shoulder on her. Great desire. This is select number 10. Good type again, large black and tan. Has a good front. When she goes around, you'll notice that she keeps her feet close to the ground. She covers a lot of ground and she is a powerful mover. Has a good lay back of shoulder. You know, we've had these videotapes now since uh, the 1975, 1976 uh, National Specialty Show. And I'm sure a lot of the viewers uh, wonder uh, maybe how they could better utilize uh, the information that's made available through these tapes in their breeding programs. I know that uh, you and Joan have a VCR at home and that you, uh, you use videotapes to study dogs and look at your own. That's a good idea, Carmen. There's a lot of these animals that you can look at the side gate uh, and you can see the extension in front and the rear uh, that would be ideal if we can all breed that. Well, for the person who can't go to the show or wasn't there, uh, even if they were there, I think you get a little closer with the camera, you can see things uh, perhaps here that you're not able to see sitting up in the stands. Uh, you can listen to uh, critiques like your own or the things the thoughts that you had and uh, you, can, you can see the movement. You can see whether these are the kinds of things that uh, you want to bring into your own breeding program. You're absolutely right. You know, when it's hot on a, on a day like this, while it wasn't uh, unreasonably hot, it was warm and, and the dogs uh, had their tongues out. Uh, uh, how do you get your own dogs ready when you know you're, getting, you're going into an area where the temperature is going to be uh, a little more than uh, usual and uh, uh, you want to make sure the dog doesn't wear out by the end of the day? Normally, Carmen, what we do, we road work the dogs uh, perhaps uh, three or four weeks in advance on the back of the wagon and to give them, uh, you know, extra strength and so forth. And this has been successful uh, as far as we're concerned. How far do you road work them? Uh, do you start out gradually or do, yes. how do you do that? Start out gradually, maybe a half a mile the first uh, day. And we only work them every other day for about two or three, uh, say, uh, weeks when we're really in, say, in competition at a, at a large show. And then we go up to about a mile, mile and a half. A mile and a half is the tops that we go, and that would be every day. And again, why we've been fairly successful using this system. I think some people uh, tend to overgate them, but they're like an athlete. I feel that uh, you have to build them up. You have to build their strength up. So conditioning really is a part of your program. You bet it is, a very, very important part. I don't know how many of these animals here have been uh, conditioned. I can tell a few of them have uh, been, and a few of them have not been. Some of them look a little soft, and the body rolls on them, and uh, maybe they're leaving a little overweight. Yes. And these are things that uh, a judge takes in consideration when uh, you're judging. Well, when a competition is close uh, and you have to make decisions between uh, two dogs, I guess uh, those things really do play a major factor. They certainly do. Maybe the fancy might not agree with you, but uh, you're absolutely right.
Well, this was the winner's bitch. The winner's bitch, uh, I remember very distinctly. Uh, nice black and tan. A bit immature. I think she could use just a little less leg and maybe a little more body depth. She's going to be a nice one. She picks up just uh, slightly in front, but she covers a lot of ground. Also, be sure to look at the I have used the terminology of uh, lifting in front quite often, and I know people think this is a correct way for an animal to move, but uh, in my estimation, really it isn't. A dog could sh should keep their feet close to the ground, both front and rear, in moving, although it does look great and excites a lot of people. Well, we're getting near the end of the uh, judging of the bitches, and we'll soon start to see the males. Uh, we'll get a chance to see uh, many of these uh, dogs again in the uh, final competition. If I could just uh, make one statement on the bitches, Carmen, I felt the quality of the bitches uh, was just outstanding. A lot, a lot of uh, quality. I mean, deep. It's just a shame that you can't uh, keep uh, 20 of them in there. Well, it just gives us all something to work towards. That's true. You bet. And I'm sure everyone will do that. Well, this is the beginning of the uh, judging of dogs, and here's your select two. Yes, beautiful dog, beautiful dog, medium size, has excellent secondary sex characteristics, really. Has a good back, fluid, good motion, as you can see, fluid, covers a lot of ground. I thought today, uh, which I'll uh, go into a little later, that he didn't perform later on as he should. Here's the Grand Victor, which uh, I was just excited about. This dog is just, uh, he stands there like he really wants it. Good coming and going. This dog is ideal type, beautiful head. I felt between the two, the first and the second, that this dog took less steps. His desire never stopped all day. This is select number three, which is another good moving dog, a little immature at this point in time. However, I feel with a little age why he can be in contention again someday. And I might add the young man did a great job of handling him. Yeah, it's nice to see the, uh, the young people coming along, and uh, as we saw in the junior showmanship, some of them have already gone on and, uh, and entered the ranks of the, with the real professionals. That's true. That's what we need. We uh, need a lot of uh, good handlers. Unfortunately, some of our good handlers are becoming, uh, excuse the expression, a little older, and uh, 
we need the young blood. You know, I was looking at the uh, catalog a few days ago, and I noticed that the select dogs, uh, number two, both dogs and bitches uh, this year, were the same two select dogs last year. And I think uh, that that says that uh, these obviously are good dogs who can come back and do it uh, year after year. Right, that shows you consistency, no question about it. Later on, I, I hope that uh, I can make a few more comments about the uh, Grand Vicrix and the uh, Grand Victor, because they do deserve a lot of uh, a lot of how should I say praise. I really thought they were two excellent animals today. This is in the uh, hot of the afternoon, and if you'll note, uh, I did examine all the teeth. I left the dogs do the panning, and if I could see their mouth good, why I went with the uh, checking the bite. Yeah, I noticed that. I thought that was uh, that was really kind of you. That the dog was hot and he wanted to keep his mouth open, and uh, made it a lot easier if you just looked. Certainly you did. didn't have to put your hands in there. Right. I noticed you have your jacket off as well. Yep. <laughs> it felt very, very comfortable without the jacket. That was a long day, believe me when I tell you. Yeah, it sure was. We, uh, we lost our tent, so we were out in the sun with you. They did confiscate your, confiscate your tent for the uh, exhibitors, right? Well, we had to move off to the side once uh, we got into the best of breed competition, and uh, we couldn't move the tent over there without blocking the view of the spectators. This is select number eight. Good looking male, beautiful outline, large black and tan with a good layback. Moving has an awfully good back also. Lifts again my expression slightly in the front. Overall a very handsome male.
Select number seven, a very handsome, masculine, dark sable, well balanced with a high wither, He's got a firm back, long stride. We still got five more. Could be a little longer in croup, I felt. He is clean coming and going. I have seen this dog perform much better than today. This is select number 12, very masculine dog. He has a strong back and a good side gait, as we'll see. A little swift, but he's still fluid. A very attractive animal, does it nice and easy. You know, it's amazing uh, how many dogs come from the various parts of the country. Uh, I uh, looked at this once to see whether uh, the dogs were generally from the region in which we held a show or were they generally spread across the country. And, uh, it seems that uh, some years uh, it's uh, not more regional than others, but it just seems that uh, uh, the dogs uh, are fairly distributed from across the country. So we really get to see, I hope, the best uh, of what there is uh, throughout the country and uh, even from uh, Canada and uh, occasionally from Germany we will see a dog. Right. I think uh, the better part of the country was all over the country. We were well represented today. They came from all over. I think more of them would have came uh, if they knew the weather was going to be this great. Right, Carmen? I think so. I think uh, more and more we're, we're able to find locations and, uh, and sites where the weather is good, and I think we'll see in future years uh, bigger entries. I'm sure you're right. That's finishing up with one group. And this is select number 13. He has a good side gait. He's fluid. And he keeps his feet close to the ground. He runs kind of level and his head down on a loose lead, which to me distracts just a little bit. This is select number 12, which is a beautiful, masculine, very dark black and tan, very strong, elegant posed, good side gait, as we'll see, a little swift, a little loose and elbow coming at you, clean going away. Very attractive dog. I guess, again, I would like to see a little better uh, reach. You know, I noticed that this dog has a Schutz in one title, which is something we don't see too often. That's correct. I wasn't aware of that until the handler told me when I was going over uh, the dog. I think that's great. 
It's nice to see these uh, show dogs are able to also do it uh, when it counts you in bet. the working uh, areas as well. We all know they can if we just take the time to train them. That's right. This is select number 10, a very deep-bodied stallion type of a male. Beautiful proportions. He could be a little, little better coming, but he's good going. When he moves from the side, you'll see on a loose lead that he has, he tends to drop in the wither, and this causes him to uh, raise just a little bit over the croup in motion. A beautiful dog and a smooth floating gait. And I might add on the uh, number 10 select that I've seen him uh, being shown with much more enthusiasm than I have today. This is select number 14, pretty black and tan. Has a good blade back of shoulder. He's good coming and going. This dog moves well on a loose lead and he has one speed that he excels in. This is select number six. Unfortunately, I didn't see this dog perform in the classes, but uh, he impressed me in the spatial class. Very dark black and tan. Good front and rear. Very masculine. Beautiful type. Good back. 
on the side uh, movement, we'll see that he has an excellent underreach and drive. Effortless covering the ground, good suspension. He would have been my best of winners today had he not ended up limping in the rear. This is select number five. Good coming and going. He's a good side mover, but he didn't have the stride that the fourth place spatial had. This is select number nine, a good size sable, masculine, presents a good outline, good coming and going. On a loose lead, moves with a uh, level uh, top line, shade down the wither occasionally, has a strong back. This is select number four. Very masculine, black and tan. Has a good outline, good length of neck. Beautiful four chest on this animal. Covers a lot of ground, easy stride. I like to see just a little less length of body and a little more depth. You know, it's hard to see the eyes of the dogs, either from the stands or even even from the camera's point of view. Do you find that the uh, eyes are uh, are staying predominantly dark, or do we have a problem in that area? It's a good point, uh, Carmen. No, I feel that the eyes have got much better, at least what I've judged today. Much, much better. That used to be a, uh, how should I say, really a, a bad point with me. But the eyes, I feel today, were much better than they have been. And ears, uh, I think, have uh, improved to a degree. There are still some soft ears, which really takes away from a dog. This is select number 12, very masculine, dark black and tan, has a strong back, good side mover as we will see. A little bit swift, very, very attractive dog.
champion Jandens Loren of Longanau in front. Champion Alders Viva of Charmec. This is coming to the end of picking the Grand Victrix. Likewise, the same with the uh, males, the Grand Victor. Both exciting classes. Here I'm giving the second place dog a chance to perform out in front. And I decided, as we all know, to leave the first place dog in first place after giving them both a try. The Grand Victor, I might add, at this point, uh, as we can all see on this tape, his desire, he was just asking for it. He, his desire was just fantastic. Fantastic. I thought certainly he's going to die at one point, but he never did. Point of a, of a true champion. And there we've seen both the bitch and the male uh, go around. I thought they made a beautiful pair. Well, they were really exciting movers, and the crowd was just terribly involved in what was going on, just waiting to see how it was going to end. Well, they were ex excited as I was, really, when I tell you, Carmen. I gave the bitch the uh, breed because I felt she moved a little better. Not that much better, had a little better reach. But you couldn't deny either one of them. Today, they, they were stars, believe me when I tell you. At least in my opinion. Well, that concludes the afternoon, and now we'll get a chance to see all of the selects, and we'll see them this time in reverse order. Here we start with the dogs. Select number 14. This is number 13. That's number 12. Okay, thank you. Uh, here's number 10. This is number 11. Those two dogs got out of order.
Number nine. Number eight. Number seven. Number six. Number five. Three. Number two. These are the select pitches in reverse order. This is number 12. Number 10. Check focus, you ain't got it. 
select number eight. Number eight. This is number seven. Number six. Number four. Number three. Number two. Here's the Grand Victor, looking as fresh almost as when he entered early this morning. Again, beautiful type. Again, I mentioned the neck. Good length of neck. This is the Grand Victrix. I can almost guarantee that they worked her a lot. Excellent condition, both of them. I'd just like to take a moment to thank the German Shepherd Dog Club, the members, uh, for voting me to do this uh, honor of judging this national. It was great, a great thrill. Thanks for coming on. And, uh Voicing this tape for us, friend, we appreciate it, and I'm sure the fancy who see these these tapes will enjoy them and keep them and make them part of their library. Thank you very much, it's been my pleasure. <laughs>